Hey everybody! Casey Zero VII Tom here. It is another gorgeous weekend up here in North Iowa. Uh, I'm afraid we're going to pay for it this summer. Um, looking at some of the imaging of the North Pole area, there's still a lot of cold air up there we haven't siphoned off, so it may be a kind of a mild winter, or excuse me, mild summer following a mild winter. Uh, we're out here in Tiga, or Tiga, T I W K R. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, Tigger is a 2022 New Camp Tab 320S. Uh, if you read through New Camp's website, some of the S's are saying shower, some are saying standard version, so it's uh, kind of confusing a little bit. But <laughs> excuse me. But uh, I'm the second owner of this rig. Uh, picked it up from a couple in Rochester, Minnesota. They had it for a while and decided they camping was okay but they want to do more traveling overseas so um one quick thing that we did um it comes with this nice old jensen tv and i was out here the first when we got it home that day and was playing around checking stuff out i couldn't pick up a stinking tv signal and we got three stations in the immediate area we should have been booming in fairly good so i started following the coax cable the coax from the tv runs into the wet bay on the outside, you know, you out there and look in there, there's three F fittings on the inside the F, uh, in the wet bay. Uh, one's labeled sat, one's labeled cable, and one's labeled aux. That's it, it goes to the cable jack and that's it, and, you know. Guys, if you put a TV and a camper, put an antenna on top. So I'll show you what we did outside real quick. Uh, this was a real quick afternoon project. It uh, doesn't, it's not long enough to do a, a, a whole show little you know video on it so we'll just do it real quick here let's head outside uh one thing i did is i ran this power strip below the window down there's an outlet there that gives me a place to plug the coffee pot in and the uh, ice machine some usb ports we'll get outside here i've learned to duck when i go in and out so i don't scalp myself but on the front here on the uh, the rack what i did i just picked up some inch and a quarter and one inch pvc electrical conduit to get out of the sun and that's one of those king uh tv antennas i ran the coax down the inside i got a couple holes here with clevis pins to uh, drop it down when i'm traveling and it goes down and i follow along the outer side of the camper and i actually come up open up the wet bay here in the wet bay and i got the coax ran around on the inside of the door then it plugs into the, uh, the cable jack so that is working and my aad would have been really going nuts if i didn't put a pipe on this side so i did real quick i put the anometer for the weather station the outdoor temperature sensor what we want to talk about today is on these new camps the front box was standard for most of the tabs to be a plastic box getting really windy here we'll try to get out of the wind and it wasn't until like 22 or 23 they went with the standard metal box from cb sea biscuit i believe the company is and to me with this rack on it it kind of looks a little bare and i went out to sea biscuits website and they do sell two smaller boxes to fit in here and they come in two different sizes one size it's the same height as this box and the other one is down a little bit let's go inside and show you what we got here's uh, one of the boxes um, real nice construction metal uh, it's got a little rubber deal you can actually put a lock on these uh, on the big box out front you should not put a lock due to the fact that's where your propane is and that's kind of illegal you're not supposed to lock a door that's covering a propane tank I guess I didn't know that um, but uh, we are going to take a put these on. We got a either a fire call or a medical call going through right now. It's been so dry and windy that we all week long we've been under red flags warning. Uh, on the sea biscuits inside, all the hardware comes wrapped up like so. And when you take it all apart, what you get is some of these filler plates, and they have a square hole for the carriage bolt. So you get four carriage bolts and the nylon nut. And they also, I get the kick out of this. They also send you a bottle opener. And I believe this is also a bottle opener. It kind of goes in and pops up like so. But uh, so what we're gonna do is mount, set these on. 
and uh, drill a hole in the bottom and tighten up. What I think I'll do, since these carriage bolts are longer than uh, what we really need, what I'll do is go downstairs and get a nut to go on this, put it on top of the, the retaining nut, then take the Dremel tool and slice that off. We'll take a look at that when we get going. Again, these are from Sea Biscuits, and Sea Biscuits is based out of Johnson City, Tennessee. Um, and uh, well, guess now the wind's really picking up. We're talking this afternoon. We're supposed to have gusts in the 30, 40 mile an hour range. So we will uh, probably from this point forward switch over to just a voiceover, um, so you don't hear all that wind noise out there. I have a cat that is upset. I got her bench in her chair here blocked off. She likes to sit up here and watch the world go by. So let's set these out there and uh, we'll get them zipped in. Set in the box up here in the rack. The rack has this metal pipe that runs around the perimeter of it. I was gonna use that as a straight edge. Set the front of the box on the, uh, the straight edge and the side, kind of keep the weight there. But I notice when you go to open up the lid, the lid does not go past the top center point. It's striking the handle and I was afraid it's gonna come down and strike me, you know, the, the head or in the arm. So I slid the box forward, which is okay because the center box is forward. But I'm going to stay on the inside of the pipe. That way now when I raise the lid, it goes past that top center. It's still striking the handle, but it, now the chance of it closing on me is not that great. It, it the wind's in the right direction. I'm sure it could blow the, the lid down, but everything looks good. No little discoloration on the center box, but everything will tarnish out once they uh, get into the weather. Just steps back here, making sure everything looks nice and even and spread out. And I just realized something. These are not the correct boxes I ordered. I ordered the short ones where the lid, top of the lid should be about here, just below the lid on the center box. Then they sell these, the taller boxes. Oh well, well, we'll keep plugging away on this and we'll worry about that later. Making sure everything looks good. Again, final time, check all the lines. Down below you can see where the openings are on the, the shelf. Let's get our Sharpie, get those marked, drill the holes, and continue on. It's really getting blustery, Winnie the Pooh. We'll get down here underneath this one, carefully not to bump the box. As you can see how the, on the, the shelf, the openings you can see on the bottom of the boxes will make our little Sharpie will draw the circle around there, mark the center, we're going to drill the hole. A little concerned more about the diamond stud there, that could make drilling the hole a little easier. As you can see the box doesn't go far enough back, so we'll just pick this row here and mark the center again. And we'll go out on the very outside here. I was thinking about using that one, but we'll use this one on the outside to kind of keep it even with all the other holes. Once we get that done, we'll slide over here to the other box. Well, we got our Sharpie out, get here on the bottom. Again, we'll mark the ends in our pilot hole, drill hole. Mark it on the inside there. Do the same thing there, and it looks like, yep, all four of these holes, we've got a diamond stud just right in the way, so that's going to be quite interesting. This is fairly soft aluminum, so it should not be that hard to dr drill. We get the hardware here all set up. We have our little disc along with our carriage bolt. And again, you want to come up from the bottom with the carriage bolt. Make sure you have that flat side facing down so you get good grip on that little disc. As you can see on the bottom of the box, the holes went in fairly good. Even with the little diamond stud, this is very soft aluminum. It didn't take much for the drill bit to cut through it. Got the box all lined up. We're getting the carriage bolt in the square. We'll slide it up through the hole in the bottom of the box. We'll put another disc on top of the bolt on the inside and use the other hand and get the nylon nut down onto it. I'll uh, we'll just get it kind of snug. Then we'll check the alignment of the boxes, making sure we didn't bounce around too much. Looking good here. Looking good on the side. Looks nice and square. So we'll start. There is no real instructions that came with them. Matter of fact, there was none. I mean, you're out on the uh, Sea Biscuits website. They really didn't show anything on how to do it. You, know, you went out on YouTube, found a couple other people are doing something similar. One guy was getting really precise on his holes. Well, the size of that filler disc and you know the holes in the uh, the plate there, that uh, deck, 
you can slide them around quite a bit to get them lined up so don't get too carried away and make sure the hole is precisely in the center um, you're gonna be moving around now step and repeat let's do the other one we'll come back and uh, probably throw some burgers on the grill here we got both boxes torqued down and they look pretty good it looks nice and straight we open up the lids they look fairly straightforward even as you can see on those discs there's just a slight depression when I was tightened down on the nuts uh, we don't want to get too carried away get on this side look across all the lids are nice and even you can actually use one hand to close down the side boxes turned out very good I'm quite happy with this okay not sure how good this audio is but we'll got it completed put the uh, Dremel tool in there and got the uh, longer shanks left over from the bolts cut off I'll get some acorns from the hardware store and uh, it turned turned out real good um, one thing you gotta be careful you do not overload these and that's gonna be a lot of weight on the tongue you want that I just want to be able to spread all the junk out so I can find it faster what I'll probably do is been on the left side here probably be electrical and a whole water hose leveling and uh, some other small items keep this one kind of open with the batteries and the uh, LP tank I want to get a CO or fire extinguisher in there not a CO2 one but a Navy C one about an hour it took talking to you guys showing some of the shots and uh, drilling uh, if it wasn't for that and nobody else bothered me I could probably got it done in half hour both containers 15 minutes each then you got to do is drill four holes uh, put the carriage bolt in put it on tighten it down uh, the extra step I went on I got the Dremel tool out and I got to remember do not put pressure on the Dremel tool let the blade do the cutting I was like they didn't put too much I broke a couple blades but again do not overload these these are not you know that'd be way too much tongue weight on your tow vehicle and on that I did not buy these directly from Sea Biscuit excuse me I bought them from another place online because I was getting some other stuff and they screwed up they sent me the wrong bags there was a big change in money on those and I really like the looks of the smaller bags but I'm not going to complain I'm not going to say where I got them from because they may come back and say where do we want our money but on that I'm going to throw something on the grill it is getting warm out there um seventh year everybody camping season is not that far off be sure to tell your friends neighbors other hams subscribe hit that bell to get notification when new videos come out Add comments below. 7-3 everybody.